Hmm. Wat gaan ons doen vir lente dag? Wacht, ek het een idee. For spring day, the box weather team has decided to take on a photo challenge. The goal? To take one spring day photo at some of the most iconic locations in and around Cape Town. So, where are we going? Let me quickly check. Why don't we start at Cape Point and make our way up the west coast? Okay, thanks for my food. Let's go. Wait, <laughs> we can go after my coffee. We took the M3 until we reached the end of the highway, then turned left towards Musenberg and Fishuk. We drove along the coast to the historical naval village of Simonstown. We then continued along the coastal road to Table Mountain National Park entrance on our left. Cape Point is a nature enthusiast's paradise. The Cape Floral region is home to more than 20% of the entire African continent plants. So let's take our first photo. Spectacular. Rugged rocks and sheer cliffs towering more than 200 meters above the sea and cutting deep into the ocean provides a spectacular background for the park's rich biodiversity. The park opens at 7 a.m. and closes by 6 p.m. Kapend was besonders, want hy is tyd vir ons volgende avontuur. New outfit, new location. Kirstenbosch National Botanical Garden, situated on the eastern slopes of Table Mountain, is internationally acclaimed as one of the most magnificent botanical gardens in the world. This. It's actually showing us which flowers you can see during spring here in Kirstenbosch. Let's go see. There are more than 7,000 plant species or types in Kirstenbosch. The garden contains mostly South African plants, including native fables and forest areas. The garden is open every day from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and is definitely the most stunning picnic spot ever. Let's take our second photo. Ta-da! Pretty in pink for my third outfit of the day. Kirsten Bosch stole my heart. But I've got a new outfit and the West Coast is still far away. So let's go. A few kilometers on your way to Darling off the R27, you will find Thimi Fashfelt Reserve. The reserve is open to the public free of charge throughout the year, but it's during spring that the variety of flowers are just breathtaking, especially the yellow sea of canola flowers. Now it's time to take my Instagram worthy photo. People visit the rolling yellow fields to witness the blue canola flowers. Time for another quick outfit change. Love it. The canola bloemen is skouspelachtig, maar die weskes roep my naam. So kom ons gaan. <laughs> the West Coast National Park, which stretches from Ezerfontein to Langebaan, is a pristine nature reserve which offers an array of activities such as bird watching, game sighting, biking, and whale spotting. But it's during spring that the park is a tapestry of multi hued flowers. The park is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, and P.S. During the annual National Parks Week from the 11th to the 16th of September, South Africans can get free access to almost all of the sand parks around the country. After a jam-packed day, we arrived here at the West Coast National Park only to find out the flower viewing area closes at 4.30, so be here early. But I think it's time to head home after a blooming day. But you still need to take one more photo.